Savage, Dirty, MMA fan, back with another video. You know, there's a, a sh very strange misconception going on out in the wide world of mixed martial arts. There's this misunderstanding that because Jennifer Maya survived for five rounds against the bullet Shevchenko, that that fight she just had didn't apparently didn't cost her anything. She came out just just fine, just 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 as as good as she's ever fucking been. You know, she's not scarred, she's not bruised, she didn't get fucked up, didn't have any type of psychological, you know, potential damage. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I know Jennifer Maya is tough, and I know Jennifer Maya, you know. At least in the fight, Peru, she wasn't afraid, and she was game. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not questioning that her heart as a fighter, but apparently there's this, this idea, this uh, retardation, this, this Kool Aid with strange things mixed in it that people are consuming, that are causing them to actually think that anything has changed at the top of the 125 pound division. Nothing has changed. Valentina is still the queen. I mean, did you see that left, that overhand, overhand left that like Jennifer Maya still couldn't stop. She couldn't do anything with it. Did you see Valentina Shevchenko's ground game, perhaps? Did you see the ass whooping that Jennifer Maya took? I mean, the score was something like four rounds to one, okay? so. Scratch all this shit about it actually being a competitive fight. It wasn't truly a competitive fight. It was just a little bit more interesting fight than what a lot of people thought it would be. And, and then again, you know, well, she had on the ground and she should have did more. She put pressure on. I mean, sure, fucking Jennifer Maya, big ass, fucking big bacon classic with large fry and coke put pressure on her. I mean, she hydrated, she rehydrated like 15 fucking pounds. What, what, what do you want Valentina to do? I mean, y'all taking this shit so fucking serious, it's pathetic. It's, it's just, it's disgusting. You know, Valentina, you know, title defense after title defense after title defense after motherfucking title defense. You know, and I don't know what the fuck whole Rogan, Joe Rogan was talking about, but that shit was crazy. She needs to do that. She needs to do that. Have you ever won a fucking world title in mixed martial arts, motherfucker? Have you ever been a champion? Have you ever been a fucking king? I don't hear shit. You know, normally I, 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 I you know, I, I go on fans, I go on fellow fans, you know, I talk shit about the organization, I talk shit about fighters, but really, the commentating, they, 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 this is terrible. Well, they are part of the organization, so shit, fuck them, right? I mean, but they were saying such bullshit. I understand why my man, uh, WMMA addict, listen to it on Spanish, because I'd rather not know what the motherfucker's saying than listen to this fucking garbage that be spewing out of the sky. Horrible. Horrible fucking commentating, but anyway. So, the bottom line is, apparently some people think that now, this opens the door up for certain flyweight fighters. That they're going to be able to get Valentina Shevchenko to the ground and do some extensive, serious <clears throat> damage. What the fuck are you smoking? I mean, how much shit did you actually stuff in it, and what is the substance that you're fucking smoking? This change, this will change nothing, okay? This will change absolutely nothing, and you're going to see that, okay? The vision is loading up, and it's growing. And certain people need to just be happy that somebody threw them a bone, <clears throat> I'm really, fight with somebody that they can beat and get a little bit further. But don't think that this means that all of a sudden that the Chachinkos are human. These people aren't human. These are next-level type motherfuckers. You know, you went around... Or you have a good day against one of them. That doesn't mean you're going to be a champion. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry about this. But Antonina's waking up. And Valentina's already the queen. So I don't know what the fuck y'all think going to change. I don't. I really don't know what the fuck. You know. Okay. Maybe some people aren't stepping up. And they're having issues. And the Holly Homer 125 is sticking around near the top. It won't be for long. And it doesn't even matter. Because at the end of the day, this motherfucker right here is still a motherfucking savage. This is savage. 
XW, MMA fan. Good night. 125-pound division. May you forever remain under the feet of the bullet, Shevchenko. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about.